All right, before we start today's episode, I want to give a big shout out to the Patreon subscribers. And if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way for you to support the show. Um, all you gotta do is go over to patreon.com slash big truth and then you'll see all the different levels of patronage that there is. And um, you're, uh, they all have their own exclusive uh, benefits and uh, whatnot. So check it out. Um, if you can do me a big favor, like I said, this is free. And uh, if you can do me a favor and go wherever you're listening, if you can uh, make sure you're subscribed to the show, um, give it stars, give it a like, give it a review. Like I know you can't do some, some of the different outlets are different, but wherever you listen, try and give it a review or a like or, a, or stars or whatever it is. And uh, um, especially if you're on Apple, give it a five star review and uh, write some words about it. And uh, that boosts us up in the algorithm and helps a lot and uh, keeps it going and growing. Right. Um, and uh, make sure you share it with people. Uh, you know, spread the word. Right. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you need some artwork, right. Um, you punch the hole in the wall, you need to cover it up or, uh, you just got ugly walls and you don't want to paint or, you know, your roommate left and took some artwork away. Now you get these holes to fill or you opened up a tattoo shop and you need flash, whatever it is, you know, for your, for your house, your apartment, your studio, your, uh, your shop, your garage, your cell, your cubicle, whatever it is, you need some artwork. Make things more interesting while you're looking around, right? You need to check out Tattoo Flash Collective over at TattooFlashCollective.com and on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff as uh, at Tattoo Flash Collective. Um, they, you know, obviously they sell Tattoo Flash, um, but they sell all kinds of artwork, um, different prints, different sizes. They have books, anything you need art related. Um, they work directly with the artist. Um and, uh, you know, they support real artists all around the world. And, and it's not like, so it's not some like, whatever you call those, like the company that just generates artwork out of nowhere. It's not AI. It's all hand-drawn stuff. Um, they have hand-drawn, hand-painted stuff. Then they have their, uh, the iPad stuff separate. But you can, there's all kinds of stuff over there. So check it out, TattooFlashCollective.com. Uh, if you use the promo code Big Truth at checkout, you get 10% off your order. If you are a Patreon subscriber, you get even more off your order. Um, I have a motorcycle shop that you, you may know about or you may not know, uh, especially if you're a new listener. Uh, you check us out over at ChopAhead.com, C-H-O-P-P-A-H-E-A-D. Um, but more than a website is a full brick and mortar, fully functional, operational motorcycle shop. Um, we got a front building with the uh, parts counter, showroom, and everything, and then the uh, the shop in the back, the fabrication and uh, service and repair bays. Uh, we do anything you need, whether you need an oil change or a full custom motorcycle built, anything in between, we do it all. Full serviced, so that means everything. So check us out, uh, 13 County Road, East Freetown, Massachusetts. But if you're far away, um, you know, you can always uh, log in and pick up a hoodie or a t-shirt or something, support that way, uh, chopahead.com. Um, yeah, if you want to get more information on the podcast, just go to bigtruthpodcast.com. And uh, if you're not aware, we do have a merch store up, and there's all kinds of wild merchandise there. Uh, it's it's fulfilled by a merch company, so they have all kinds of wacky stuff. Um, you know, your normal stuff, hoodies and crew necks and t-shirts and... Uh, tank tops and stuff but they also have like iphone cases and, and travel mugs and stuff like that um so check it out go to bigtruthpodcast.com if you want to go to the merch store just hit store and then follow the link from there and it'll bring you over there all right and um yeah that's it for today today's uh i got my man harley back on and you may know him from tradition cycles he's a uh uh, dude that I've known for, for decades, uh, mainstay in the motorcycle and chopper scene. He's an old punk rock guy, an old skateboarder guy, mainstay in all those scenes. But we get a little different today. We get a, we delve a little bit into the world of the weird. So the backstory is like the last time he was on, we talked mostly about motorcycle stuff, a little bit of punk rock stuff, whatever. Um, and afterwards, you know, we were talking and, and uh, we got into some weird stuff. And so we, we were like, oh, down the road, we got to do a podcast where we just talk about all his weird experiences. So stay tuned for a little delve into the paranormal right now. we 
All right. Once again, we have liftoff. Uh, I'm only laughing because this is our second attempt. We had a uh, we had some technical glitches before, uh, but I want to formally welcome once again my man Harley uh, on the podcast for his second appearance. Um, Harley's uh, a, a veteran of the punk rock, hardcore, motorcycle chopper, uh, and uh, a, you know. The, all the all the things that matter. He's a veteran of those scenes, and uh, he was on the show before. Uh, we talked about motorcycle stuff, but uh, this time we're going to get into a little bit of weird stuff. Um, yeah, man. But it was uh, it was good catching up last time. Like I was saying before, when we started yeah, this yeah. the first time, we got a lot of good reviews and a, a lot of good uh, response off that episode. Uh, people were stoked on it, and uh, like I said, we we hadn't talked in a while, so like we were talking a lot before and after the the episode, and. Um, and then, like, you know, when everything was said and done, you were like, dude, uh, you know, I got some weird shit to talk about. So uh, here, a, here we I are. Of, <laughs> I have a lot of weird shit. B- believe it or not, this is like the first. Well, there's very few people that I talk about it with. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 kind of like my my, uh, y- you know, in small circles, I'll 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 say some shit occasionally. Yeah. But uh, this is probably like the first time, I guess, that the world's going to hear a, uh, a, a bunch of weird odd shit that's yeah. happened yeah. Uh, over the over my years so yeah 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 the the, the first time people hear the the uh, campfire stories yeah yeah, yeah. you know it, I, I mean obviously there's a I, i'm you know i'm a firm believer that there's uh other stuff besides just here yeah uh you know that what we perceive um and i guess i you know i've been lucky enough to have weird shit happen to me over over yeah. the years you know yeah yeah so um w- you know why don't we start from you know from the from the beginning like um well first of all i guess maybe and, and maybe this is i don't know if this is too personal but you said you know you're a firm believer that there's more going on than than the uh, the surface level stuff here um yeah. like what what kind of is your you know, belief system, like, what do you think is out there? What do you think's going on? I I mean, first and foremost, like right off the rip to say that we're the only like, uh, intelligent beings in the universe is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, I I mean, that alone is, I mean, it's pretty selfish of human beings to think that we're the only thing in, in, you know, in the universe. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I mean, I'm like also a firm believer that, you know, like we're, you know, that the level that we're at, we're, we're all, you know, we're all gods. Um, and, and that might be a weird thing for people to hear, but you know, when you consider the feats that we did and how many millions of years that, you know, we've been on earth, um, you know, it, it, it's amazing to think that, but, you know, I'm a firm believer of like, frequencies and stuff like that so you know i i mean i think everything what we perceive is probably at a a certain frequency that everybody perceives something out the human beings perceive something out Mm. um and then you know you could uh, essentially like a radio tune into a different station occasionally you know yeah yeah yeah. I mean, that's kind of the thing that I believe where it's like this weird thing where, you know, everything just kind of aligns in like a, at a point in time and you get to see in, in, in another frequency, you okay. know? So that's kind of the thing that I, I, I believe, you know, I, I don't necessarily, you know, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like dimensions and all that stuff where, you know, like people talk about like everything's happening in a different dimension at the same time that it's happening here. Um, but to me, it's a little bit easier kind of just to be like, oh, it's a different frequency. We just tune into it or, or you know, we have an enlightened moment where you turn, you know, you end up being somewhere in something that happens at, at a different frequency. Sure. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot, there's a lot out there with, you know, where people are, are getting into that and, and, and researching different facets of, uh, frequency stuff. Um, just to circle back to one thing you mentioned earlier, um, when you said we're all gods, do you mean we're all like kind of, do you believe we're all individual gods or do you think that we're all part of the same big 
kind of, for lack of a better word, supreme thing? Um, I mean, I think we have the, I think we have the power to be part of a supreme thing. Yeah. I think, I think, you know, going back 10,000 years or like, you know, like different civilizations, I think that's kind of how the civilizations work. I think nowadays, like everybody's so, um, not in tune with anything, a lot of people not in tune with themselves and are just kind of taking, you know, everything face value. So, you know, I don't, and essentially I'm not saying that like, I'm not saying that like we're a God, like, you know, people think of like a religious God, yeah. but I'm saying like Cap- capital G God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm saying like, you know, to consider like, what we do and like how your brain functions and all, you know, like your heart and your electrical system and all this stuff. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like, you know, b- mammals are, are kind of like a supreme being in a way, you yeah. know, you know, even just to think like on, a, on such a small level to think that like you can talk to yourself in your head and nobody else can hear you, but you're talking to yourself in your head. Yeah. You know, where, where, just thinking about that is kind of a weird thing where you're like, well, yeah, like I, I understand what I'm thinking in my head, but nobody else is hearing what I'm saying in my head. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, I, if that makes any sense, then that's kind of like what, what, you know, wh- where I'm at with that. Yeah. Do you, um, do you have, uh, cause I know that did you ever see that there's people when they do research, like there's only a certain number or a certain percentage of the population that has an actual voice in their head. Do you, do you just kind of process thoughts as a, as a, as a thing, or do you hear like an actual, Oh, I, I hear like actual voice in my head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do too. Isn't it? This is the weird shit, right? Cause this is like the shit that you start talking about at four in the morning when you, when you know, <laughs> like, you know, but like, it's weird to be doing it at like seven at night. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you know that I, you know, this is, this, this is the stuff like where, like, I'm going to curse everybody listening to this now, like, um, with, with this, uh, I don't know, for lack of a better word, exercise, right? Like you just said, like you hear stuff in your head, like you thinking about stuff and you're like, how am I doing this? Or like, then it gets even weirder. It's like, how am I moving my hand right now? I'm like showing you <laughs> yeah, my yeah. hand and I'm doing this, but I have no idea how I'm doing this and I'm doing yeah, it yeah, as yeah. I'm fucking talking to you right here. Like fucking yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Like that stuff will keep me up all night. Like, and then I'll, yeah, yeah. And then I'll have to like do something to shut off because then it's like, it just goes on and on and on. Right, right, right. That's like, if, if you've ever gotten like ridiculously high before where you start thinking like, Oh dude, like how, like how am I doing this? Or you can't, function and move your hand where you're like why is my hand not moving but my brain's telling my hand to move but like i'm not functioning like i should be there's like a disconnect between the two and it's like man this is really weird (laughs) you know so so yeah to some degree you know i i i feel like um i mean a lot of the stuff that we do on a regular basis we just don't even think about it's like you know it's like to think that your heart beats all the time dude for you know how 78 not 80 years of your life or 90 years of your life and you have you have no control over it. it's just doing it by you know it's like just functioning yeah 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 you yeah. know which is weird like it's weird i mean it, it's not like ghosts and shit like that but it's still weird stuff yeah, yeah just yeah the shit going on inside you is weird stuff like the the design the 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 grand design of like the human form or like you said any like mammal or whatever form like everything that's going on, all the systems that are in place that are working together at one thing. It's miraculous that more stuff doesn't go wrong. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah. So, um, yeah. When you're talking about frequency and I know this is at a different level, I, there's like a lot of stuff been coming out. Um, have you, have you, I don't know if you're up on or not, but it's just an interesting side. Cause I know you're an old music guy too. Um, about the frequency of music and like wh- how it's recorded and at what frequency kind of can kind of yeah. dictate stuff that's going on with music. And they're saying yeah, that yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff now is like recorded at a real, like low frequency. It kind of brings people down. Like it's not like for lack of a better word, uplifting like music. Can yeah. Be. I think, I think they said like, I could be wrong, dude. So, I mean, I've done some research on it as a matter of fact, like I was just hanging out with, uh, with, with, uh, Sean Martin, like the other day, uh, uh, who used to play in hate breed, he plays in twitching tongues. Now um, he, we were talking about hurts and I was saying, I was like, dude, like 
I, I was like reading all the stuff about frequencies and like, I think music is like at 400 and something Hertz. I think yeah. I don't remember for, I, I don't remember exactly. And then they were saying like, like, people can relate to it because that's the frequency that we're supposed to hear at. But like, like cell phones, televisions, um, like digital stuff is like at 130 Hertz or something, which is really low. Yeah. And what it does is it causes, they say that it causes chaos with people. Mm -hmm. So I was saying to Sean, I was like, dude, can you imagine if you could figure out all these weird frequencies and then like record something in the studio, like some death metal shit that like really fucking like makes people super depressed or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. like, you know, and, and, and we were talking about it and it's pretty interesting to think, you know, because, because everything does, you know, there is frequencies, especially like with all, you know, you see like science where people like start like, you know, like recording frequencies from like plants and stuff like that. And, you yeah. know, everything does have a frequency. So I, I, I mean, I, Essentially, I can see how something like that would cause turmoil in somebody, you know, yeah. and I have a list of on my phone, actually, like I, I screen grabbed a list of like all the frequencies and what they're supposed to do. And they say different frequencies have healing powers as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the, you know? the one the monks chant at and stuff like that, the Tibetan monks. And yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, two things with this that are just kind of dumb, like that'll be funny the, as a side. You ever hear of the brown tone? Speaking of frequencies. No, I have not. There's supposed to be a frequency that basically makes you shit your pants, right? So that was like when you were talking about like trying to make some death metal that's like all weird and stuff. It was a running joke with me and my boy Ryan that that passed away a couple of years ago. We, we always wanted to do a band and find that tone, that frequency, the the brown tone, and just put that in a song. And just like whenever when anyone listens to it, they just shit their pants like just like a mess. That would be that would be amazing. <laughs> the, that would, you know, there's the 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 thing too is it's like have you ever done you know like to some degree I'm not like a hippie but I'm like into like like alternative stuff I'll try like anything you know sure, what I mean yeah, yeah. like and um and um I mean this is super personal but I, I you know when I lost my parents I was having a lot of trouble with a lot of stuff and 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 I um and I was going to therapy and my therapist said, you know, like th therapy can only take you so far because there's like these deep rooted things that sometimes your psyche can't get to, Yeah. you know, and even if you're talking and doing all this stuff, it, it you, you, it's so deep inside, in, inside your brain, um, that you, you can't kind of reach it. So she, you know, um, so, so my wife was like, my wife, Sarah was like, let's go to, um sound healing you know and i was like yeah whatever you know like i'll try sound healing so we went to sound healing and if if any of your viewers don't know sound healing um um it's basically like like crystal bowls in in different you know in in, in different things where where they use frequencies and tones you know and some and people get different stuff out of it you know whether it's relaxation I've taken friends and I'm like, listen, dude, if you just get an hour of like sleep out of it, dude, that's all like we're you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't have to have like an epiphany from it. It's just relaxing and it, you know. Sometimes so, just removing yourself from the day to day grind and taking yeah. an hour to do that, even if it's a like you said, like even if you it's not something that you're 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 sold on, just removing yeah. yourself from regular life for an hour and relaxing and like having yeah, nothing yeah, else yeah. go on will, will be beneficial for you. Exactly. So it's like, you know, I think a lot of people with a lot of stuff are like, dude, that's bullshit, whatever. And it's like, just kind of take it for face value if you're going to do it. Yeah. You know, so. Um, so we went um, and, and uh, I went to this dude who was super amazing. Um, and. Uh, and I we 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 went in and, you know, it was like an hour of like him, like on these crystal bowls and just like, you know, kind of bringing you in kind of out of consciousness a little bit, dude. And when I got done with it, I was literally bawling, dude, I was crying so hard that I had 
te- I was laying down, obviously, on the floor. Dude, I had tears in my ears. Mm. Like, just massive release. And, and, I, and it was like, it was unintentional. I couldn't explain it. It wasn't anything that was really, like, set in stone. I was like, I'm going to go in here and cry. I went in with the intention that I was, that n- nothing was going to happen. I was like, yeah, this is probably bullshit, but yeah, like, yeah. I'll, I'll relax for an hour. Yeah, yeah. And it literally, you know, it, it literally, whatever frequency or vibration that tone was at, it literally just kind of like released all this trauma and all this, you know, pent up, um, sadness that I had in, in me and, and, and it was amazing and I couldn't explain it. So it's just kind of this weird thing. So, yeah. you know, were you, again, did you I'm, find yourself in like a meditative state when you were, when you were there? Yeah. Kind yeah. Kind of, you know, like, and, and that's the weird thing about like with the vibrations, it's like you literally can feel the vibration, like in your, like from your, from these tones at your feet and kind of like move up your body into your head. It's really weird, you know? Um, and, and and even people that I've taken that didn't get that much, you know, what I got out of it. Um, they still said the same thing. They were like, wow, man, like you could really feel the vibration of these tones, you know, whereas with, you know, I think with music, you know, sometimes you can get that, you know, that if you see a band live, yeah. Um, or see somebody performing live, but it's very rare that you you can kind of be in a a state of mind where you can actually like as, you know assess what's going on and be like, whoa, dude, this is really weird. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that seems like one of those things um, where there's going to be people. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. Like anything kind of like that alternative or like new age type therapy, there's, there's going to be real people. And I feel like there's a lot of room for abuse in that, in that kind of realm. Like there's going to be some Yanni motherfuckers like trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, but that's cool that you found something like a, like a, like a legit, legit spot and, and gut stuff. And did did you have to ever go back or did it like that? I went, I went went back a bunch. I just went back because I enjoyed doing it. You know, not every time was like, was like that. The dude that did the, the dude that did it, um, was this dude, uh, Kelvin. And he's like, he was like, um, old school kind of like, uh, just kind of like into like hip hop and stuff like that. And then he ended up going to jail and kind of was just like, dude, I, you know, had two options. He kind of found a lot of alternative medicine, I guess in there and, and started doing some stuff to help himself. Yeah. And, um, and started doing the sound therapy, you know, so it was kind of this thing where I was like, well, this dude is, 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 you know, kind of legit. Cause he's like kind of cut from the same cloth. He's not yeah. some like, no offense, but yeah, he's yeah. not some like rich chick. That's like, you yeah. know, her, you know, like, you know, kind of like living off dad's money or, you know, or yeah, a trust yeah. fund kid, you know, where they're just like, yeah, I have nothing better to do. I'm just going to get into new age, you know, yeah, new yeah, age yeah. medicine. Yeah, he yeah. was just kind of, I was like, yo, dude, I was like, this dude's kind of like a legit dude. Yeah. 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 That's you know? cool. And, 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 and I think like you said, you know, I think there's a lot of room for people and, and Hey, whatever you get out of some, I'm not like, I'm definitely not like doubting anybody or anything, sure. whatever you get out of it, you get out of it, whether it's like these people are, kooks or not it's like what you take from it is 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 what you take from it you yeah. know it's, and it's also your mindset going in like because you're going to get out of it what you want or need if if you apply that kind of mindset to whatever it is you're going into like you know yeah i, I mean i I'll, I'll try most most anything you know like for for the most part like i'm down to try yeah, you yeah. know whatever if it if if i get something out of it cool if i don't then it's an experience you know so yeah. It, it is what it is. But I think, you know, I think there's a lot to be said. Um, I think a lot of people just kind of forget about their bodies and what you're capable of doing and what you're capable of, of, of achieving in your mind. You know, there's like this disconnect where people just don't realize it's like, you know, it's like often people, you hear people saying like, oh, you know, like I had this, this, uh, this health issue and I didn't even know I had it. And you're like, dude, how did you not know that you had that? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you can't tell that your body is not, there's something messed up with it, yeah. you know, and I just think it's like not being in tune with, with your, your mind and kind of your body being in tune with the same thing. But sounds like hippie shit, dude. I know, but, you know. No, but, you know, it, 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 it is like, no, it's, it's real, you know, like, cause there's times like if I'm distracted or I'm stressed or I'm like running full tilt, like, and, and like, you know, I, I you know, I, I go to the gym every day and stuff like, well, five days a week, every day during the week. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's like, if I'm not in tune, like it's not the same, like, you know, if you're not mindful of everything, it's easy to, to be numb to it, to stuff, especially when yeah. you're not, you're not taking time to, you know, I don't know, for lack of a better word to reconnect or connect all that stuff. Right. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah. go into that for an hour, you know, and you're experiencing frequencies and like, you're feeling it and it's going through you and stuff is you're, you're removing yourself from the day to day rat race. When you caught up, people caught up in the rat race, like they can be less in tune with things like, you know, oh. physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, you know, whatever, sure. you know what I mean? And, 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 and I really didn't like, I really didn't, you know, I come from like, you know, I mean, I'm sure people listen to the last podcast. Like, you know, I grew up skateboarding and BMX and, snowboarding and motocross and all that shit where it's just like you know you're focused on what you're doing and you get hurt and you get up and you just like you 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 either you know you either heal fo- from it but you're not really like I, I mean your brain is programmed to just like just to do to do things you're programmed not to feel pain you're pro you know like you program yourself to not feel pain you program yourself to like get up regardless of what happens and, and try it again and try it again and try it again until you kill yourself. And it's like, it wasn't really until like, you know, my wife kind of was like, you know, taught me and I'm still not good at it. I still go back to the same shit where I'm just like grinding it out, you know, but I feel like at least knowing some stuff now, you know, it's like, you know, meditation, I can't meditate like I can't like I'm not really good at it I try but I'm not really good at it um you know but it's been around for thousands of years so how can you you know like how can you discredit something that's been around that long and and the gurus and the you know and the monks and all these people that that have done it like it it's got to do something because they wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't yeah yeah and then some of that stuff you ever see stuff that like Tibetan monks and stuff do like with like, or, you know, different monks from around the world do when they're in meditative states, like where they'll stay outside in the, in the, on the top of the mountain in snow for like four days and you see all the snows yeah. melted around them and they're just like sitting still in it. Like the stuff yeah. that you can do if you apply yourself. Um, and, and like you said, if you, if you got all systems connected is, is, is can be phenomenal, but you know, in our world, the modern world, you know, like we're doing a lot of low vibration stuff that's just yeah, yeah. D- dulling a lot of it. Like the food you eat, like not you, I'm saying in general, like yeah, 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 you know, general, food that yeah. has all additives and GMOs and, and, you know, water with fluoride and blah, blah, blah. It sounds right, like right. all hippy dippy stuff, but it's all real. And all you got to do is basic, spend 10 minutes searching that if you think we're talking about dumb shit, like, and it's all there to, for you to see, right? Um, yeah. It- yeah, it's like you said, TV, yeah. you know, like it's set at that wavelength of that, you know, or, you know, I find if, if, if I, if you go out and you veg out and you're just watching TV for like three hours, like you've done nothing and you can feel that you're like, you've just exactly. shut off. You feel numb. You don't even feel like you're just like, whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I, I th- and I, I think a lot of, you know, a lot of, for us, like, especially our age group, it was like, dude, what, like, you know, we're like latchkey kids, man. It's like, what did you do? It's like you either did two things. You either went home, played video games, watched television, or you were outside skateboarding. You know, like some yeah. of us were outside skateboarding and BMX and shit like that or causing trouble, Getting lighting shit, shit yeah, on yeah. fire, yeah, you yeah. know. But, but I mean, so I think it's just programmed. And, you know, I, I think like a, I think a, the first step for a lot of people is if you cut that stuff out, you'll, you know, you'll automatically feel more motivated and, you know, all, you know, all this other stuff. And, and, and the weird thing is, is I, I mean, I don't want to get off track, but I, but I feel like, you know, going, 
going back to like the, if we kind of segue into like the paranormal thing, you know, for, for me, it like a lot of stuff started when I was really young, Yeah. you know, and, and I feel like, and you'll see where I'm going with this. I, I feel like when you're young, you know, like four, five, six, when you just start like being able to kind of like not think on your own, but you know, like have, have thoughts and do stuff yeah, like yeah. that. When, when your brain's you, really getting booted up, right? Yeah. 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 You have no, like you don't have any, there's no guidelines that are already set for you. Yeah. There's no so, years of experience that you just rely on that rather than what's ahead of you. Or what's yeah. Ahead of you. So I think like it ends, you end up being in tune more with a lot of stuff. So, you know, like when they say like, Oh, like kid, you know, kids will, will see things that, you know, grown up people don't see or, or, you know, which was kind of like, not necessarily me when I was young, but like there was weird shit that happened to me when I was a kid that was unex that's unexplained, you know, unexplained still yeah. to this day. I can't explain it. I can't say that it, 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 you know, that I believe in it or I don't believe in it, but it happened. And I think like, you know, you're not programmed to not, you know, we're so, as young adults, we start getting into, you know, going into school and then you get, start getting like, like structure and that structure doesn't allow you kind of to like think or, or allow stuff to, to happen or, you know, you, you to be able to pick up these different frequencies necessarily yeah. because you're kind of being like, like guided in some way where it's like this thoughtless process of just, you know, like, you know, uh, um, I guess, uh, structure where it's like, no, that's not real. Yeah. You know, when you're a kid, anything's real, dude. You're like, Oh, you know, like you, you, you could pick up a stick and make it a gun, Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, or, or you can like, you can do anything that you want to do, or you could think however you want to do. So that a lot, I think that allows you to be able to process a lot of things and maybe experience stuff that you're, later in life you can't because you're so bombarded with this outside you know frequency and this yeah, just yeah. this all this stuff happening in the world that just kind of like you know doesn't allow you to to focus on or or to allow you to let this stuff kind of come in no absolutely yeah and there's a there's a lot of um people that talk about that uh and researchers that say that the you know and even in regular life anecdotally right like you always see like kids and kids and dogs, man, are always looking at something that isn't there, right? Because dogs yeah, yeah, do the yeah. same right, shit, right? right? Like, right. Dog, like, yeah, dogs. My well, dog I would mean, freak me the fuck out. I'll be two in the morning. I'll be sitting there with her, and all of a sudden she's looking at something. I'm like, you know, my at dog's it. the same way. I'm it's like, like, I'm like, well, click, like, what are we gonna go? Know, what, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I, I, you know, like Buddhists, you know, the Buddhist religion. Um, I mean, I've briefly studied certain different religions sure. a little bit, you know. You know the Buddhist religion. They they say that like cats and dogs are the you know the the in reincarnation they're the step before becoming human. The next reincarnation from a dog or a cat is a human being. Um, but they're also they're also don't have the structure that we have. So, you know, it, the ability, it allows them to kind of tune into different stuff that we don't necessarily, you know, see. Yeah. So, and that's why I think like for me, it started, you know, for me, it, re it started out really young. I mean, it was like, man, maybe like when I was like five, I would yeah. say five or six weird shit started happening. Well, let's, let's, let's go through that. And did, has it happened throughout life or was it just more it, from when it, you were a kid? It, it, it has, it has, it, it, it's, it's happened, um, mo you know, multiple different things, multiple yeah. different things. Like when I was a kid, the first thing really that I noticed was, um, and again, like I haven't talked about this shit. So, so yeah. it's one of those things where, where it's just like, it sounds so ridiculous when it comes out of my mouth, you know, yeah. to me. Um, but, but honestly, so when I was a kid, um, and my parents would put me to bed usually at about, I would say it was probably about 1030 at night. My bed would start shaking. 
Um, and the first time it happened, I thought, I honestly thought it was my heartbeat that was shaking the bed. Um, was it and, in the same rhythm? Was it yeah, like- yeah, yeah. It was like, just, it would like, it would, it would, I mean, if, if I get, it was like, it would shake like this. Okay. So it wasn't like it the ones shake. people paid 50 cents for, for the, for like the, the buzz, like, no, it wasn't like a was vibrating it, thing. It was like this, it was like this, this kind of shaking shimmy and yeah. it wasn't like a violent shake. It was just, it would just like shake really bad. Yeah. Um, like and, side and, to and side it would, and it would progressively get worse. Yeah. 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 So I thought like when it started, like I was kind of like, you know, is it me? Like, am I shaking my foot? It almost felt, you know, it, it felt like somebody was shaking the bed. Mm. And I remember telling my parents like, Hey, you know, like I went to sleep and my bed was shaking and they were like, Oh, you're dreaming. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't hear it then. It didn't make like, it wasn't like loud or anything. It, it, I mean, for me, it was loud. My, my bedroom was kind of in the back of the house, like in, in, the television is kind of like in, in front of, um, it was kind of in the front room of our house. Okay. So there was like a small hallway that went into the, into the bedroom and they would, you know, my door would be closed. So even you, you probably wouldn't be able to hear some, cause I remember being like, you know, I would like maybe call for my parents and they wouldn't hear me right away. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I feel like even if it did make sound, um, and this went on for like, this went on for a good amount of, I would say probably like, it, it, it wasn't like every night, but it was, it was, it would be like a, a good amount of the week yeah. nights. And then it would happen like, man, I would say it probably happened for a whole year. How long, like, how long would it go on for? I it, it would go, it, it, it would go on until I sat up. And then, and sometimes if I sat up and then laid back down, it would start doing it again. Hmm. And it's weird. Cause I always think like, you know, you watch like poltergeist, like, you know, and, and there's like weird shit that's happening to kids. And I guess it wasn't maybe until I saw that movie that I was just kind of like, Whoa, this is kind of, a, you know, this it, yeah. is, is a weird thing that's happening. Um, did you get a and, sense that it was something like messing with you or do you feel like that, that it was more that, it, it was like you, like something vibrating out of you. No, no, no. It was definitely an outside influence mm. because I couldn't stop it. I, I would, I would look at myself to make sure that it was not me. Yeah. And yeah. I would also like get in this weird, like I would get so scared that I would be like, like, I wouldn't say petrified, but like, I would think to myself, like put your hands next to your legs you know and kind of lay like as one unit and Mm. maybe it'll stop and like you know so i was old enough to kind of be able to think like hey like maybe i could stop this from happening but it was definitely like an outside it seemed like an outside influence that was either maybe trying to communicate with me or try Mm. maybe trying to like you know like i mean that's kind of the only thing that i could think yeah. Really? You know, it wasn't, it wasn't like it was a, I don't feel like it was like a ghost, like, you know, necessarily like people say like entities maybe, but it was definitely something I was, you know, or maybe, maybe I was just in tune with, with something that, you know, was happening all the time. And I just kind of like tuned into that, but, yeah. but it was physical. It was physical enough yeah, where if wild. I, if I sat up, you know, and at first I thought it was just like either me dreaming or I was just kind of making this shit up, mm. but it happened way too often for it to, for, for, you know, it to happen. And I remember like being like giving my parents a hard time and being like, I don't want to go to, I don't want to sleep on my bed. And they'd be like, why? I'd be like, cause my bed shakes at night. I can't stop it from shaking. And they'd just be like, you're ridiculous. Like, yeah, you yeah. know. So what, like with, so this would be like, you said it was it go on at start around ten thirty. Was what, what time did you go to bed? So it'd be like, would you already be asleep? I would already be asleep, okay. and then I would wake up. I would probably, you know, I, I mean, my parents, um, you know, the thing. So, so my dad worked. My dad worked two jobs. So my dad was like a spring. He was always a body and paint guy and, yeah. and a fabricator. But like his his like real job, I guess, was like 
he was a spring maker. He's a coiler, so he made springs. So he would come home at five o'clock in the after, you know, a- after work, and he would come home and eat, and then he would go work at uh, um, my my cousin body shop and so he would come home late at night and I remember like I would go to bed and then he would wake me up and then we would watch like Johnny Carson or some shit yeah, yeah. dude and then he would put me back to sleep um so it was like in be- it would be kind of in between though you know those times where I would get back up and a lot of times like I-, I remember getting up and walking out of my room and just sitting on the couch you know with him and watching tv because I was like kind of petrified to like well one i couldn't really sleep and then two i was like petrified of it sure yeah you know like when you're a six-year-old kid and your bed shakes you're just like man this is fucked up you know yeah multiple times a week right like on a weekly basis yeah yeah and and again like i thought you know i mean i i i thought i I essentially i originally thought it was it was me but it happened too often for it not to be you know Mm -hmm. and for and you start thinking logically, I think, when you're older to be like, why Why would I, like, make some shit? You know, like, why being six years old, why would I make up, why would I make up this story that my bed shook? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I, it wasn't like I was, like, abused or somewhere like that where it's like there, there's this outlet where a kid needs to, like, you know, have this outlet or, you know, I, I was just using abused as, as kind of a thing because, you know, kids kids when when they're abused at young ages like end up doing weird shit yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, or or like crying out or acting out you know in different ways just to kind of get attention or whatever the help that they need um so it wasn't like that and it's just kind of like why in the world would i ever make you know why would i make this shit up yeah 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 and you especially know, and was, live, it, was, I, it was just like my bed shakes it wasn't like you're saying there's a monster in the closet or something's tormented me it was like a motherfucker shaking my bed like <laughs> yeah yeah and, and like we lived in a fairly new house. It wasn't like I lived in a super old house. Like yeah. my, you know, my parents' house was like built during the war. Like there was only one other family that lived there. So it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like there was like this, like, yeah. you know, backstory of like, Oh dude, there was a, ch- you know, a child that, you know, died in this house or something like that, you know, yeah, or yeah. anything like that. It was just kind of like, you know, and again, I, I think, why why in the world would i make some shit up like that i i wasn't like i don't i wasn't a kid that like lied or or you know needed yeah. uh attention or anything like that and i never really told anybody except my parents yeah well, but, you, i mean now i'm telling like all the world <laughs> but hey you know, you know what's you know what's weird is that a lot of paranormal researchers now are saying to to the point where you're saying where the house was fairly new is that a lot of times they think things are attached to the land not to the actual physical oh, structure. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. could be both, but sometimes they, they feel things are like attached to the land itself. Yeah, that may, I mean that 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 would make perfect sense, you know. Yeah, that make perfect sense. I mean, you know, the house that I live in now, there's uh, there was Native Americans that lived here like 1,200 years ago. Like Peabody Museum had did like a like a excavation in like 1941 as a matter of fact there's this big rock that has the top of it broken off from a glacier Mm. and literally they lived in that with a structure over the top of it and it's like it's like two maybe 200 yards from my house yeah yeah you know i mean not getting off subject so yeah Yeah. i can see how like you know maybe you know like spiritual things are attached to like I, I don't have any like weird stuff that happens here, knock on wood yet. But um, but yeah, I could see how that would be if you're you know if there's ancestors for hundreds or thousands of years that have been on that. It doesn't necessarily mean, and that's kind of like where that frequency thing com- comes in, where it's like yeah, they're probably just there as a as in a different frequency all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's all stuff that's very interesting to ponder. And I think some of the fun of it, or, you know, the things that make it fun is that we don't know, right? And it could be all these things that it's, that looking into it is, is, uh, and trying to think of what it could be sometimes is, is more fun, you know, than knowing the actual yeah, yeah. answer, I, I think, you know? It, it's the like mystery at, of around, it, the mysteries. Around the same time of, the, like, that was happening, 
um, around the same time, I would probably say between I was, no, I would say maybe I was maybe around eight years old or so. Um, I used to be able to do this weird thing and take like, like, like watches and make watches run that didn't run. Mm. So, so my great grandfather worked on the railroad back in the day and he had this watch, like this pocket watch that my parents had in like a curio cabinet for like ever. And it was like on this little pedestal. And, um, and one day I took it out of, it hadn't run in year, like years. Like I'm talking like he got it when he retired. So that was like my great grandfather. So that was probably, you know, when I was a kid, it was probably already 50 years old, maybe 60 yeah. years old. And, um, dude, I, I, I used to take it and hold it in my hand, like in, inside my hands like this. Yeah. Dude. And I would be able to make the watch run for like 15 minutes. And it completely freaked my parents out. <laughs> like completely. I, I remember doing it and being, and, and this sounds ridiculous again, yeah. dude, but like, but I, I remember like holding it and just like, like chanting to myself, like, like work, you know, make this watch work, watch work. And, and I literally would be able to take pocket watches or whatever. I don't know if it was because like the heat of my hands or whatever the case may be, but like, it was this weird thing that my parents would always be like, like, you know, like they never told anybody, but they would always be like, oh, like that's this weird thing that you could do. And nobody should know that you could actually do this thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's the, it's the vibrations, got, man. The vibrations. May, I mean, maybe, but that was around, you know, around the same, the same um, time. And then, you know, I think as I got older, um, as I got older, it was like a, 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 you know, it, I think a lot, I think it kind of changed directions as far as like the stuff that I was like, like susceptible to, I guess, or like, you know, like kind of the stuff that had, I, I, that was, I was experiencing. Yeah. I don't want to, before we move on, I, I want to get, I got a couple of questions about the watch stuff. So, with uh, your great grandfather's watch, you could get it to work for like fifteen minutes, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then it would gradually go back to. Yeah, it would stop working. Yeah. Did you ever try it with other watches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do it with pocket watches. I could do it with any watch. Like if somebody had a watch that didn't run, I like you could, you could hand me a watch, dude, and I would be able to like make it run for for a short period of time. It was a it, it was the weirdest thing. Yeah. Did did you did you like as a kid when you were doing that? Did you was it something you felt or was it just like you just put it in your hand and you willed it? Like like. Uh, I mean, I it's kind of weird because I think um, I've always kind of felt like this. Uh, you know, like it, it almost it almost felt like kind of like energy to some degree. Yeah. You know, like where you kind of harness like a, a energy and. and Still to this day, I, I can't do it with watches anymore, but I still to this day, like I kind I almost kind of feel, you know, the same where it's like sometimes I could feel this, you know, this energy. Um, you know, I don't want to fast forward now, but, you know, I, I, I think like, well, like you were saying, bro, honestly, it's like literally the best skill you could have as a dude that's into vintage choppers. <laughs> like, it's like, if, I, you could just know, be like, bro, just, fucking I work. I, hold, <laughs> I just wish I could hold on to like a cylinder and then yeah, yeah, start yeah, a bike yeah. and just be like, oh, it works. Hold it on works, to this you know? carburetor and let it just do it. <laughs> but, but it was unexplainable. And yeah. like I said, my pa it freaked my parents out so bad. They were like, do not tell anybody <laughs> that you could do this. You know, and, and like when we grew up, up. I mean, did, you, know, did you use that as ammo to be like, yeah, and you didn't believe me on the bed shake? Like, look at what I'm doing with this. I don't know if I, I you know, I don't know if I did or not, but yeah. but I do remember it being a hundred percent being real. So, like, you know, people yeah. discredit it and say whatever, but but I know, and and, and again, I, I the know, it I, would be the weirdest thing to make up, right? Like, like, like if you're gonna make yeah, up, like, what, what, like. Like yeah, like I'm a super, like I'm a superhero. I can make watches, watches work. Like, it doesn't make any, you know, it doesn't make any sense. It's like just some stupid thing. And and really, I 
I I got it from. I watched a. I think it was. A magician on television do it. Mm. If I remember correctly. Okay. And. And and that's why and and that's how it kind of became a thing because I watched it on television, and then I remember asking my parents if I could take that watch out and see if I could do it with that watch. And I knew that watch hadn't run in forever and you could wind the shit out of it and it, and it, it, it didn't work. Okay. And when, I, and again, when I did it, it literally free, like my parents were like, put the watch back, like just leave it alone. Don't touch a watch. <laughs> um, but then I did it and I couldn't do it with digital watches. I can only do it with mechanical, mechanical watches, yeah. you know? Um, and, and I, and I, it, I never really could explain it. I always yeah. thought it was just like, I was like, oh, it's got to be like the warmth of my hands being together or something, you know. Mm. Um, but I still feel like I still feel like you were saying with the with the monks, you know, I think. I think like it's like mind over matter where you could literally take and and and, and make yourself warm if 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 you meditate on it or or tell yourself, you know, like like you can get warm, yeah. you know, because you see these dudes that like do like these like ice baths and shit. And there's one dude from like, I don't remember what that guy, that dude's name is, but he, I wish I knew, but he was, um, they did a bunch of studies on him and, and he was able to like sit in, in ice cold water and bring his body temperature up like slow, slow his heart rate down, bring his body temperature up. And, and, and oddly enough, and he taught himself how to do it. And oddly enough, researchers were stoked because he had a twin brother that couldn't do it. Yeah, so yeah. they, you know, so, uh, so they did studies on the both of them and, and were like, this dude, obviously it's not genetic that he could do it because his brother can't and he's mm-hmm. a twin, you know? So I think like a lot of things we we discredit, but when you're a kid, you don't know any better that you can't do some shit. Yeah. And because I was going to ask you too, like how, like what made you try and fix a watch, right. Or make a watch work. But like, it yeah, sense, you mean, saw it on TV and you're like, I can do that. Look, try it. Or you, and, or, you and, or you just yeah, open to it. Yeah. And that was essentially it. You know, I remember watching this, watching the show and this, this dude starting a watch. So, I mean, whether it was real or not, I didn't know whether it was real. And, and I think, you know, like, being a kid, you don't have, you don't have boundaries. You don't know what is real and what's not yeah, like, yeah. you don't know what's, what you're capable of and what you're not capable of, yeah. you know? And, 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 and even I think like older, you know, you hear all these stories about people doing these like super human things, depending on what, yeah, you yeah. know, what, like the kid that gets stuck under a car or something and the mother lifts the car up and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that shit where it's like mind over matter. You only you at that moment in time you're not thinking like shit, you know, like what like what am I gonna do? You either do something or you don't. Yeah, yeah, just in action, yeah. And then I you think know? Stan Lee had a TV show too about people that could do things. Oh, really? Yeah, I th- I can't remember what it was. It, it made sense of it because Stanley was like, the, you know, it was a play on superheroes, but people that had like weird abilities, like that, you know, that they could do things that were beyond the normal. Um, yeah, yeah, I, and, and and you know, I mean, what do they say? They say you know, you, whatever percentage you use of your brain, dude. You know, like w- every organ that we have in our body is used to the, you know, to the fullest i mean you know you don't use 10 percent of your heart you you, you know your yeah. heart is like you know so ha- we have these brains that we use only a sh- small percentage of our brains what you know what is what are we capable of doing that you know we 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 don't know and 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 you know again like i said when when you're a kid you don't you there's a fine line between reality and 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 you know, what you believe sure and there's you also know, I mean, I, and, and when you when you get on the brain stuff too there's also just like 
different people can access or fire different parts of the brain more easily than others. And, and that's where a lot of weird stuff comes from too. Like, cause right, right. you know, some people have blockages or like, can't fight like, you know, even, even on like weird stuff, like with like serial killers or something, they say something's like more active in one area than another and can cause yeah, all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like but brain chemistry like is still a f- huge field of like, where they don't know anything like, they only know a drop in the bucket of to, to, to really what's out there to figure it out, like how everything really works. Yeah. And how do you, you know, it's like, you, there's parts of our brain that we don't act, you know, we don't even act, you know, you don't have access to, or you don't yeah. use, you know, and, and, and it's even like when you say, when they say, Oh, you know, like left-handed people are like more creative or, you know, like, or, or, uh, you know, because they, they think differently or right brain left-handed. Or, What's that? They say, uh, if you're left-handed, you're right-brained. Like, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, you know, so, so I, I think, you know, a lot of things are 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 not explained just because, it, you know, maybe we don't have access to uh, to the information, you know, to in, how to utilize it. It might be some, you know, it, you know, like when you hear monks or like, you know. Uh, you know, these various like religious people where they're like saying like, oh, you know, meditation unlocks all this different stuff that's, you know, in your brain and all these functions that, you you know, that you don't normally use. It, there's obviously something, you know, it, there's something to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what else? Uh, the, the, um, the, so- the shaken bed, the, the, the fixing watches. Uh- <laughs> so, so then like, you know, of course, like little weird shit, but the kind of the next big thing growing up was when I was 15, I had an out of body experience, which was the fucking gnarliest thing that ever happened. One of the gnarliest things that ever happened to me, uh, and the scariest shit that ever happened to me. And, and, and again, I didn't really believe in a lot of the stuff, you know, like I'm, I'm like, the glass half empty dude. Yeah. I've always been, I've always been like, prove it to me. You know, like, you know, it's one of those things where I won't call bullshit on it, but I want to be proven wrong to some degree on sure, stuff, yeah, yeah. you know? And, and, and I think going into a lot of stuff, that's kind of the way you have to be is to be like, Oh, well, you know, like, I don't know. Is it, is it real or is it not? Um, so yeah, when I was about 15, but that's, that's important. Cause I, I feel like I'm kind of the same way. I don't discount anything. Like I'm like open to anything, but I also go into it like half, like not doubting it, but like you got to have a healthy amount of skepticism, I think. Right. Like, of course you yeah, do. So, like, you know, I mean, us, us human, I think human beings want tangible art, our goal is always to have tangible a measurable uh, proof of yeah yeah physical tangible proof of something yeah and i think it's just the way we are yeah. it's like yeah there's a lot of shit that happens but tell me why it happens you know and that's one of the th- going back to that whole thing where it's like you know like we're all god's things like you know that thing is is kind of the the same thing it's like you know, your dog probably doesn't question everything. You know, I mean, you can't, you're not in the psyche of a dog, but a dog doesn't probably question, uh, you know, why, you know, why do I like, why do I like treats? You yeah. know, why do I like to go for walks? They, you know, I mean, we can't know for sure, but for the most part, I think people always want to have proof of something. You know, and that's why I say, like, even being on the pod on the podcast, it's like, like, I can't prove that this shit is real to anybody else. But to me, these are the experiences that I had. And and, and to me, they were real experiences. Yeah. You know, do do I say that? Do I say that that that? it was real. I mean, I can't, I can't say it's real. I can't discredit it either. I know, you know, I mean, I only know what I know. So. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you only know know your experience, right? Like, like what you've experienced. Um, so go ahead. When you were 15, uh, what happened? 
so when out of body experience yeah 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 so um which is really weird dude because this is like a regardless of it whether it's like unconscious or conscious it's not dreaming yeah and i don't know if there's probably other people out there that have out-of-body experience it's not dreaming it's not a lucid dream it's not anything like that It, it it is the weirdest uncomfortable feeling that i've ever had like one of the most uncomfortable feelings i've ever had in my life and scariest shit so when i was a kid you know when i was like 15 of course you know i was like into hardcore and punk and all this shit you know so my of course you know we're we're going back to like the 80s now my bed was in one corner of my room and next to my bed i had like house speakers so i had my stereo which was my turntable my cassettes underneath and then, of course, you know, like it, it was like one of those tall ones where you have like your albums go on the bottom of sure, it, and then yeah. you have your tape deck, and you know your tuner, and then your 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 uh, you, you know your your record player on the top, yep. um, or your turntable on the top, and and I had two speakers next to it, so my bed was lower than my speakers. Okay, this is I, I'm 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 explaining you to this because you'll understand where I'm going with it. So my speakers, I would say, were probably maybe like a foot and a half to two feet higher than where my head was on my bed. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm sleeping and my clock, my alarm clock was on top of my speaker so that I could hit it when I was, you know, like when I snoozed it and shit before school. So it was four, it was somewhere after four o'clock in the morning. I want to say it was like maybe four thirteen, four ten, something like that. And I remember not really waking up, but I remember like being, I remember being like, like conscious, but not. And when I looked over, cause I kind of like freaked out cause I was like, Whoa, what's going on? And when I looked over my clock on my speaker was at eye level. Right. So yeah. now like, which is two feet higher than my bed. Sure. So I'm going like, dude, what in the world is going on? This is weird. Like, am I sitting up? Like, you know, yeah. and, and again, it was not a dream. It was, it, it because when it's happening, it's like there's multiple things that are happening, like physically that you're feeling that wouldn't necessarily be a dream. Um, so whether it's an altered state or whatever, you know, out of body experience is it's not, it's not like a dream Mm. because we've all had like dreams or lucid dreams when, you know, something's happening or like, um, but this was not it. This was like, other level shit like different consciousness kind of thing so as i'm looking at my clock my i'm watching it kind of like get lower and lower and lower until it's about like i would say maybe like three feet under where i am and then i went from looking at that i went to looking straight down and i saw me lying in bed the back of my like from my waist up basically at that point me laying like this one like my my arms underneath my pillow with my face down my head was like tilted to the side and i remember being like what the fuck this is weird Mm. and as i as this is happening i'm like floating and floating and floating until i until i got towards high enough where i could see my whole bedroom in, in depth, like I could see like my hardcore posters that were hanging on the, cause now I'm like freaking out trying to figure out what's going on. Like, you know, at this point I'm like, dude, what is going, like, this is weird. Like, this is a weird dream. Like, I don't feel like I'm dreaming. I'm conscious of what's going on. Yeah. Um, and everything was like 
in depth. You know, like when you dream sometimes, like, like you might be in your house, but everything's not exactly the same, or you might be in a room where, where it looks the same, but like details of it are not specific. Yeah. I'm looking at this room. Like everything in the room is like, it is specific. Like I am like in your room looking like I'm like on a ladder, sitting on a ladder, looking at my room. Yeah. Yeah. So, so me being like kind of the way I am, I wanted to make sure, like I'm looking around now. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty scared, dude, but I'm looking around to make sure that I see stuff that is like, that is, uh, in my room, you know, and my room's basically laid out. And at that point is when I freaked out. And then I was, I was trying to wake, like, I remember trying to wake myself up and not being able to be like, now I'm, you know, I want to say I was as high as the ceiling, but I'm starting to like float you know, and float and float and float. And yeah. and now I'm getting like freaked out because I can't, I can't wake up. Um, and then I was like, man, I got, like, I have to like do something about this. This is something's fucked up. Like, and, and my first thought was like, that I wouldn't be able to get back. And I was like, dude, I'm going to float out of here. And then they're going to find me dead in the morning. Yeah. 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 Like that was my first, you know, cause like you, you know, you watch it at 15, you've watched enough shit, dude, and horror movies and all this weird shit to, to, uh, to, to basically be like, uh, this is, I'm dying. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Like something's fucked up. Like I'm gonna, I'm not going to be able to get back into my body. And then as soon, like, I just kind of will like felt myself like willing back into it you know, like willing myself to be like, dude, I have to do this. I have to do this. And when that happened, I snapped back, dude. And I woke up like, like I, I, I woke up and I sat up like straight up. I, I you know, sometimes like you, you stop breathing or like, you know, like when you, when you sleep and, and, and you can't like wake yourself back up and you freak out. Like, you know, sometimes you're like, <gasps> like yeah, yeah, you do yeah, one yeah. of those things, you know, this wasn't that dude. I woke up like, and I just sat up and I just remember being like, holy shit, dude. Like yeah, yeah. what just happened to me? And, and I didn't go back to sleep. And I remember the next day I went to school and I remember telling like the dudes that I hung out with that skated, like the shit happened. And they were like, whoa, dude, that's kind of crazy. And I was like, yeah, it wasn't a dream, you know? And, and, and so that was kind of that experience. It was really traumatizing. Like for me, it was really like, I remember it being like, I remember being like, dude, I don't want to go back to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was only that one time ever. No, it happened. It happened multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. It's, did, it's happened multiple times. Did like, you, did I, you, you know, get used to it or did you embrace it? Or did you just like every time freak out and be like, no, oh, get the fuck back it, in it, there. It, 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 to me, it's very, it was very uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, cause I think like the difference between what was happening and, and that was the difference is you're, you're consciously thinking mm. in dreams. I, I feel like you don't consciously think. You know, like you see stuff that's happening, but you're not necessarily consciously thinking about the stuff that's happening. You know, you're, you're basically, it, it's, it's, it's happening and you're just kind of along for the ride. You know, like when you dream, like you could think in a dream, you know, and kind of sometimes you could alter dreams, I feel. I, and this might be me. I don't know if this, hap you know, this happens to you. Yeah or any other human being, but this is not on the same level. This is not, uh, this is not necessarily, um, being like, uh, kind of a, along for the ride. You're consciously think you're consciously aware, aware of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. 
and 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 that was kind of the scary thing because you i think at at some point you're thinking like that you're not going to be able if this is happening and it's real you're not going to be able this is not going to be able to happen did uh and how many like so did it feel like when people talk about like uh did you ever research like astral projection and stuff or did it feel like something different i i i definitely uh, I have done like some research, I, you know, like, like not, not a ton. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but this coming out was, is very, when I say coming out, I mean like, like at first you're, you know, it, it's very, it's, it's, it seems very subtle, like a, like a, like kind of like a very soft, mm. you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're like, it's not like, you know, like in movies when they like do that weird thing where it's just like, it's like, and it's like something just is like appears, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like that. It's like this weird separation that happens or to me, this separation that happened really slowly. Mm you know, where you're kind of aware of what's going on, where I'm like, like I said, I was looking at the clock being like, why is this clock next to me? I know this thing is above my head. And then as it's like, kind of like slowly going away from me, you're like, wait, mm. this is really weird. And as that's happening, you're kind of feeling to me, how I felt was kind of like that feeling when you drop on a roller coaster, Yeah. that first like initial like drop, that was kind of like what it, if I, you know, at that point, I remember it kind of being, feeling like, and it didn't happen fast, but it was kind of like that same feeling mm. where this weird inertia kind of happening that like, it didn't really make much sense in my, in, in my brain, mm. you know, but it happened slow. Yeah. I would say it probably, and I remember the weird thing, the really weird thing is that now I was looking at a clock, right? So now the clock that's next to my bed is a, is, is a digital clock. So as I'm watching this clock, because it's next to me, when I woke up, it was four minutes later than when I saw the clock that when it was happening. Yeah. Yeah. So and people will probably be like, that's fucking bullshit. But, but really it was like, and, and as I'm like, as this is happening, whether it took four minutes or not, it's like, if it was a dream, dude, how would I know it was 410 or whatever, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it was about 410. And then when I woke up, it was like 414 or something. So it's like, how could I consciously know if it was a dream, what time it was? And then when I woke back up, it's four minutes later than when I was dreaming. Hmm. I mean, that's an awful crazy coincidence if that if that nece w was necessarily the truth yeah yeah you know so that was so to some degree that was kind of like m me making sense of it in, yeah. in some some weird way where i was like dude how would i you know like people people would say well how do you know it happened i'm like well i was kind of like looking at a clock the whole time that it was happening you know and and i knew that it, I wasn't, I wasn't gone for a long, like I wasn't, it didn't happen for a long period of time. You know, the longer part of the whole thing was me trying to figure out how to wake up out of this or to get back to not being floating on the ceiling type yeah, yeah. shit. Did you feel like you were going to go through the ceiling or like, did it? Yeah, 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 yeah. For a hundred percent. Yeah, that's wild. Um, did you see, did the clock change while you were looking at it? Like, did you the clock was, the clock did. Yeah. So, so as this is happening, like I have like a gauge, you know, it just so happened. I mean, I feel like I had a gauge to be like, like what's going on. Like I've seen, you know, again, I wasn't focused on the clock. I'm focusing on this, all this stuff. I know where there's posters in my, my room. I know where there's a sick of it all poster hanging in my room. Yeah. yeah. I know where there's, you know, I know where there's, you know, Gorilla Biscuits start today was next to my bed. I had a giant start today poster that was next to my bed. 
I know where it is. Yeah, it's yeah. not supposed to be five feet underneath me. Yeah, yeah. But the, right. but but again, the clock was kind of like this weird thing where I was like, well, that was weird. And I remember telling my buddies, like, dude, I was like, woke up and it was like almost the same time as when I was looking, you know, like left or was looking at my clock. So yeah. yeah. Wild. Um, just an aside, you know, uh, judge is playing Providence, uh, next Friday, not, to, not tomorrow, really? but next Friday. Yeah. If you, as we're talking about sick of it all gorilla bits and stuff like, you know, um, if you're, if you're around, come on out. Um, I know it's a little bit of a haul for you. It, it is, but yeah. Um, so the other times, like, like, th- did it feel pretty much the same or did they, did it differ or did you get more used to it at all? Or like every time it was just like, fuck this. So, um, and was it in the same time frame or was it more? Specific? No, no, no. I didn't have it for a long time. And it was, you know, and, 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 and I thought at first it was like, dude, was it, you know, was it turmoil that was happening in my life? And this kind of, you know, these, these, you know, it, 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 it manifested in whatever way it was, but it, it always seemed to be random, dude. And it didn't happen for, it didn't happen again for a good amount of time. Um, but it happened multiple times and it felt the same and, and, and it, it didn't happen a lot of times. Yeah. Um, there was, uh, there was one time, there was two times act. Well, one of the times was different, but one time, um, I lived in my, in my apartment and I lived, um, excuse me, up on a hill and over on the other side of the hill was a, like a park that time, that time I what was it like that time I floated to the swing set at the park. All right. So you were a ways away. Yeah. Back. And then I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, it wasn't controllable, but I think at that point, that might've been the second time. I think at that point I was like, let me kind of see what the, where, where this, go-. you know what I mean? Like I wasn't like, I knew it had happened before. So I didn't completely freak out. Yeah. You know, and I was like, let me, you know, I was conscious enough to, to be like, hey, let me see, like, if I can kind of, like, do this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, sure, yeah. to some degree. Yeah. This this all sounds so fucking ridiculous, no, dude. No, but, no, no. I've, heard, um, I've heard of stuff like this before. I've never experienced it, but I've heard of stuff like it. So it, it, it was scary, but I kind of was like, you know what, let, I, 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 I was a little bit more intrigued by it, and I knew from the previous time I wasn't as, uh, I wasn't as scared. Yeah. So again, whatever was happening and what, whether I was really consciously leaving my body or I was on a different plane or a different frequency. And that was allowing me to do this. That was kind of, um, you know, at that point I was like, Hey, you know, like, let me kind of experience this without being like a hundred percent scared. Yeah. That was a little bit more, obviously a little bit more time. Um, and I didn't have anything really to gauge it by. Yeah. Um, but then I was able to, I was able to like to get myself back. And, and, and that wasn't like I, that was, a, that was weird where, where I was somewhere else, but then it's not like I floated back. Yeah. You know, I was able to like wake myself up. Um, and again, it what I feel like when you're dreaming, it's not this. It, it's not really. It, it was. It wasn't the same. Like it wasn't the same feeling. Yeah. You know. And again, whether I, I was in an altered state of consciousness, maybe where it was allowing me to kind of do other stuff and feel other things, it, it, it was. It, it wasn't a dream. Did it feel more like you were you were there, pre- like? your conscious was there present, like you were like floating there, like kind of like when I say like astral trajectory, or did it feel like you were remote viewing? No, I, it felt like I was there. You like there. It, it, it felt like things are happening. Like I don't, I didn't necessarily like feel like, like 
you know, like wind or breeze or anything like that, but I could see stuff happening. Like you could, you know, you, like I could see trees like moving and, and like, it was like things are happening, but your, 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 pers- your physical perception of stuff is, 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 was taken out of the equation. Yeah, you know, like where if you walk outside and it's windy out, you could feel the you breeze. Feel, you can feel how the like, temperature, stuff like that. Like I was watching. It, it, it it's almost like you're 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 there physically, but you're not feeling. Uh, you're not physically feeling this feeling things. Sure. You yeah. know, and that that's kind of the experience that I that I had any of the times that you kind of had out of body experiences, did you ever see anything that wasn't there in like regular existence? So, like, did you ever so see like, like other things that were like on that same frequency that you wouldn't see in regular life? If you know what I mean? Um, n- not that I, the, the last time that this happened, the last time, um, that this happened was, probably the scariest and the last time it happened so this one this time this time was really this was really strange this is probably 15 years ago i want to say 16 years ago um i was at a diff i was at a different apartment which was down the street from my other apartment this time this is crazy. This time, when when I left, I left out of the like out of the side of the wall, mm. but the wall was like a had this like glowing blue light that was there, like a like a like a big blue kind of bright light, and I left out of that light and for a short period of time i remember seeing like the the backyard my cars and then it and then it i it was nothing like i i was not like in my bed i was not feeling anything i was not anywhere like i used to be and then a short period of time after I was back at the, in the back of my yard and that blue light was on the outside of my house. And then I remember like floating through the blue light. And then that's when that process of like, kind of like me sitting up because I would get like, you know, I would get kind of freaked out. And I remember like, um, like waking up and being like super calm, but like freaked out, like physically it wasn't like I woke up and like I, my heart was racing or, you know, like sometimes when you have bad dreams or something, like you'll wake up and like, you know, your heart's racing or you're sweating or something like that. It was like, dude, I was like this, I was like perfectly like calm. Mm. So that was the last time that it happened. And I can't explain really what that like light was, but that was, that freaked me out. And then, and, and again, like I wasn't in control at all of like what, what kind of was happening at that point. So you didn't feel like you were actually navigating. It was just, you were just going somewhere. I, that, that was, that was the last. Yeah. And, and, and that was like, not that, that felt like not me. It felt like I was almost being pulled out mm. kind of at that point. And that was the last time it happened. That was probably like, I would say probably 16 years ago. Wow. And that was fun. And that, and that, and that really freaked, that freaked me out because I feel like the other times I was in semi control of like what was going on. I was kind of conscious this time it, it, it would, I was not conscious of what was going on. It was just, it was like, um, it was like I floated out and then it was black. Like, like again, and, and, and being that, that stuff has happened, you know, you kind of, you don't get, you, you're never used to it, but like you could see stuff where you're like, okay, like I know where I'm at. This was not like that. This was so where I was, I have no idea. I was not present. And then I was back. Mm. And then again, this like blue light opened up and then I like floated into uh, 
back into in into into the room and I, I i was at that point i could see what was going on like even when i like floated through the wall which was really weird yeah, yeah. i was able to, to you know um and the previous time before that it was kind of the same i there was no blue light or anything but the previous time like that i was like i was able to see like you know like leave kind of the premises of where I was and I see my house and I remember floating like that. The, the second time when I was telling you, I remember being like really high up and I don't really like heights. So I was like, what, you know, kind of like, what is going on? It's really weird. But, but the last time was, uh, that was really freaked me out. I, I didn't sleep for like a a couple days. I didn't get much sleep because I was afraid that that shit was going to happen again. And again, it wasn't like a thing where, where I was, you know, like I would tell my, I always felt like I didn't tell myself like, dude, I'm going to do this shit tonight. Like I wasn't in control of it. It was yeah. just kind of, I feel like it kind of just happened. Do you feel, was that blue light? Did that feel like going through like a portal or something? Dude, I don't know, but it felt, it, it was the strangest fucking thing. I, it almost felt like, if I remember correctly, it almost felt like like electricity like mm. have you ever got shocked before by like you ever get shocked by like like 120 like your house plug or something yeah i was the like, kid that 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 had to test the theory you know put some yeah, yeah. Uh, of sticking sticking like a fork in the it wasn't yeah, a fork but it was like a like my swiss army knife or something I was like, oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah like sticking it in there yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah it felt kind of the same way like this it, it was like this like uh kind of like electric shock kind of feeling and i remember in that that time i was not able to i was kind of like not able to navigate you know i i I guess if you want to call it navigate or whatever but i wasn't able to do anything i was like i I remember just being like kind of like limp like floating yeah yeah almost so i don't i don't know i mean i i I can't say that, you know, I don't know what it was. So I don't, I don't know, but I do remember this. And I remember the, the, the light just being this like super bright blue neon light that was just like, you know, and it, and it lit up my whole room. It's wild, man. Cause like I, at the time I was with like, at the time I was with my ex-girlfriend. So I was able to see her and it just lit, like it lit up the whole room. Like I, I, and again, like, you know, when every time that it happened, I was able to see stuff that in a dream you normally wouldn't be able to see. But yeah, it was like this weird electrical kind of charge almost like when I went, you know, when I went through it. And that's not, you know, again, all this stuff kind of sounds ridiculous. Yeah, but then when you went through it, it was just like blackness or there, or you were just somewhere you, where you didn't know where you were. I was in my, so when I first went through, I was in my backyard. Yeah. So I was able to see the parking lot that was like behind my apartment yep. with all, like with all the car, you know, there's like four or five cars that were parked back there with, with my neighbors. I was able to see those cars. Um, and then it was just like black. It was like oh. blacked out kind mm. of thing. And then when I was back, I was still float, like floating limp, but I was like floating through, through, um, through this like light back in, you know, and, and as soon as I got back in, like, again, the room was blue and that, that was kind of the same thing where you just kind of like, it seems like it always seemed like when, when you, when I left, it was like this very easy feeling of, you know what I mean? Like just this separation where you're just like, you know, kind of like floating in water almost, you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of sense where you're just like you know but then like getting back it was always like this like like uh like a uh kind of like a charge of i want to say energy but it was like this you know like you're you're it's like kind of like this you're like and you're like back in you're like whoa dude like what happened and i would again i would always sit up on the side of the bed and just sit there and be like, dude, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, yeah. You know, it was very un- unexplained. And, and and never was it like, never was it 
it a transition to waking up. It was like waking up and, and, and it was like, I was like, it was like immediate, you know, like when you wake up and you're like groggy from waking up, you know, yeah. even if, even sometimes if you have a bad dream and you wake up, you know, you're like, kind of like out of it. There, there was no sense of being like out of it. It was, it was essentially like, whoa, you yeah. know, almost like, almost like breathing like straight oxygen, you know, or something like that. It's wild, man. Yeah, that's wild, dude. Like I never, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm a jealous that I haven't had that, but I'm also glad that I haven't had that. You know what I mean, dude? It, it, it and the other thing too is, it is, um, it, it always kind of seemed to take a lot out of me when I woke up. Like I wasn't like exhausted, but I just, uh, like maybe mentally. Mm. You know, they say like you use a lot of energy, like we, your brain uses like, I think they, they say in a day, your brain uses 20% of the energy in your body. No other part of your body uses that much energy yeah. in a day. So, so, you know, regardless of maybe whatever was happening to me was in my, in my mind. And that's kind of why I would be like, I wouldn't be tired, but I would just be like drained. Sure. You know, like did that ever, last all day. Did that did that last through the day? That drained. It usually lasted most most of the day, where I was just like drained from it. You know, like and and, and it was just and it was a weird thing where it was always like I, I feel like uh, it always just kind of was like um just this weird feeling that was like, I didn't normally have this weird, you know, this weird feeling kind of, you know? Um, and, and again, I mean, I can't necessarily say, you know, what it was. I know the last time, the last time that happened was probably the scariest time that happened. Cause, yeah. cause again, regardless of, of, of what happened, whether it was, I was abducted by something or, 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 the, you know, I was on a, a different frequency where I was not in control of what happened. And that was the last time it happened. So that was kind of the major thing that happened throughout, you know, throughout, um, my life. It wasn't like a constant thing that happened, yeah. but it was a constant, it was a constant, Meaning like it wasn't, it didn't happen all the time, but it was this constant thing that happened multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. How you like, know? how long in between, like, was it like years in between? It was, it was usually years in between. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I mean, it happened when I was 15, I would say 15, 16, somewhere right around there. Um, and then, it, and then it happened, I would say when I was probably about somewhere around 25, and then the last time was, you know, probably like 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. So it didn't, it, it didn't happen often, Yeah. but it was always the same thing and it was uncontrollable, mm. you know, which is another thing that kind of like, you know, like in theory makes sense because it's like, if this, if, if some, if something happens once, it's like an anomaly. It's just like, it happened. Like, did it happen? You know, it's like what happened? Well, I don't know. But then when it happens again and you're not in control of it, then you're like, wait a minute, this yeah. happened again. And then when it happens, you know, another time you're just like, man, right, you know, yeah. like, and it's always the same feeling, the same things that's kind of happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I ain't trying to scare you, but you're about due for another one, buddy. Uh, dude, I, I, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I hope not. No, I mean, no, you know, it, you. again, it, 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 it's, it's, it, it's kind of uh it's kind of a neat thing yeah sure i mean but but it's just really it's really scary you know i mean especially like the last one you said where you weren't really in control of it as much as some of the other times yeah i was not i wasn't in control of it at all and i've never had you know like the other times it, it it's been this like smooth kind of transition i guess i you know this time it was like this really abrupt weird thing with like and again i've never seen like lights or 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 any, you know, anything like that. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, you, I, again, 
it sounds completely uh, made up, but it, whatever happened to me, um, definitely consciously happened to me. Yeah. Whether anybody else could see it, probably not. And, and that's why I was saying, you know, like these weird frequencies where it's, you know, you might just be on a different frequency and, and that, you know, and that's what happened. So your dog in the room or something? Yeah, my dog. She's like, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. She's like coughing. She's like an old girl. Um, oh, that's a- yeah. So, you know, and, and I mean, and I've had some, some other experiences you know like 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 with like entities and some stuff like that so i think you know i think to some degree i mean we can get into that i you know that was that was really that was pretty scary um the the you know to some degree i think people are just you know you know that like they say like people that get struck by lightning most people that get struck have gotten struck by lightning like will get struck by lightning multiple times. Yeah. They don't know why, but they're just like a, a like a, a lightning rod. There's yeah. something of there's something energy in them that attracts lightning. You know, like if you got struck by lightning once, you're probably prone to getting struck by lightning again. And to some degree, I think like supernatural stuff or or you know, this stuff is probably about the same. It's probably like you you know, you, you operate at a different kind of in a different realm to some degree than the average person maybe does, or you're utilizing a part of your brain that somebody else isn't utilizing, you know? So I think when, when stuff like that happens, uh, you know, you're, you're more like a, a, a beacon, I guess, kind of for it. Sure. Yeah. You know, like, you know, when I was a kid, we used to go to my grandparents' house and I would always hear in the attic some, this is probably around eight, nine years old. I would always hear somebody call my name. Like there was rooms upstairs in my, in my grandparents' house, but there was like a TV in the living room and the shelf that blocked it. Um, oddly enough, that shelf is now in, in my shop because my my grandmother made it, but it was like this heavy shelf with a television. And, um, and I would always hear somebody call my name upstairs. And I was never, I I would never go upstairs because we weren't really allowed to go upstairs and no, and nobody was upstairs. Occasionally would go. When you say upstairs, um, is it attic or a second floor of the house? It was a second floor of the house. It was partially an attic. And then there was a bedroom upstairs. Okay. And, a lot of the times when we went over there and I, and, 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 and I wasn't the only one that heard it because of, uh, I would hang out with my cousin, uh, my cousin, Zach, who was like, uh, also motorcycle dude. His dad was like a getting back to the motorcycle thing. His dad was a custom bike builder and painter, um, and painted most of the club guys stuff. Um, I think I, in the last podcast, I briefly touched on that. Um, but he heard it. He's, he's heard it as w- he heard it as well because we were there and I was like, dude, did you just hear that? And he was like, yeah, I was like, somebody said your name. And I was like, yeah, dude. So that's um, wild. It didn't say his name. It said, he heard it say your name. Yeah. 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 He heard okay. it say my name. So, um, so yeah, so, so it was, you know, some, some stuff like paranormal stuff like that has happened. Probably like the biggest paranormal thing that ever happened to me was um and i and i was hoping to talk about this was uh a friend of mine had a shop um and 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 um he was a bike guy too and his shop was obviously like you know like every, we live in new england and new england has old factory buildings obviously and we all know somebody that has had a shop in a factory probably you know yeah Um, and they were always like old manufacturing buildings, whether, you know, whatever they manufactured brass or whatever. And he, uh, he lived, uh, uh, his shop and his apartment were in this building, which was the sessions building and the sessions 
Sessions was a clock company um, that I believe started in like the 1800s. And, you know, here in New England, obviously, you know, a lot of the old buildings were run on water. So they're always really close to like rivers or something like that because of factories. Um, and uh, his shop was on the second floor of the building. And I would go and I, like he would do machine work for me or I would, you know, use his lathes and whatnot. And, and, um, and we would build bikes in the shop. And so I was there a lot. And I remember being there one, one day and, and him and hearing like a hearing like metal wheeled carts upstairs. Mm. Right. And being like, dude, like who's on, like who's upstairs third floor. I had nothing in there. He's like, go upstairs, dude. So I like, we go upstairs. He's like, come on, let's go upstairs. We go upstairs. There's nothing up there. Go back downstairs. You'd like hear carts. So I was pretty intrigued with, with just the building. And you'd always kind of see like shadows, you know what I mean? Like out of the side of your eye, you know, like yep. corner, of your, corner of your eye, you just kind of notice something or whatever the case may be. And, um, and, uh, so we did some research. We found out that the building had a fire and that there was a bunch of people that died in the fire. Um, and then, uh, you know, Ritter, my buddy Ritter, uh, he would talk to the ghosts all the time because he was there all the time. And he would just, he'd be like, Hey dude, what's up? Like blah, 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 you know? And, uh, and I'd be like, dude, that's so weird that you talk to like, and he's like, he's like one of these days, dude, he's like, so he went away on vacation down to Florida with his dad and he, and he had a bunch of plants in his shop. He was like into plants. So he's like, dude, can you come over to the shop and like water my plants for like the next two weeks? So I was like, yeah, no problem. So I went over to the house to water the, the plants and he had a doorway that he cut from where his, where his shop was into where his like living space was. And he had, cause there was a wall between the two. So he cut like a doorway in the wall and there was a hallway because the kitchen was on the other side of it. There was like in between like the, the windows and kind of the, this wall. And um, the water was obviously on the other side. So I got there. I watered a couple plants. I ran out of water and, and I turned and I walked through this doorway. And right when I walked through, there was like this shape of a human being, dude, but it was like, like fuzz on a television, dude. And when I walked through, I walked through this thing and it was like super cold. And it was like, I got, immediate anxiety mm. like just like anxiety filled it was the, it was the weirdest strangest feeling i almost like kind of like felt weak in the knees almost to some degree while i was passing through this thing and i was like that was fucked because i because i it was in one motion i turned to walk and I, as i was walking i couldn't was, you know yeah, I, I was, was already right in there. motion yeah yeah and um and i immediately called him and I was like, dude, I was like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but something crazy just happened. And he was like, you saw the ghost. And I was like, I don't know what happened. And he was like, yo, he was like, it was like static on a television that like it was in the shape of a human being. Right. And I was like, he described it, you know, perfectly. And I was like, yeah, I walked through it. And he was like, oh shit, dude. He's like, I've never walked through it, but I see it. I see it all the time and it doesn't really freak me out. Like I just, that's why I talk, that's the dude that I talked to. Mm. Um, so again, it was just, you know, like this concrete, concreted like reinforcement of me not being not, because I didn't explain it to him at all. Yeah. You know, he told me, what what i had seen i didn't say a word to him i said i think i i think i just walked through the ghost you know i i said to him 
and, and, and he was like, oh yeah, blah, you know, like gives me this description. And then the description matches this entity of thing, this thing that I walked through. And, and again, it was the weirdest thing. I like, it, it, it was like, I felt like flushed almost. Did it, did it like disappear, dissipate or disappear when you walked through it or did it hang around? I, I was, or did you not hang around? <laughs> I did not hang around, dude. I got fucking really scared, and I just like walked into the other room, and then I just literally left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just because like I was like, "What the fuck just happened to me?" Sure. Yeah. Um, but that building, we would see there was a lot of there was a lot of paranormal stuff that happened in that building, you know. Um, and a few other times, you know, we we did some like scouting in the building down in the basement that had been locked for, you know, I mean when the building caught on fire, the part that caught on fire, dude, it was a brick building. They just knocked all the bricks into the basement and then they filled the building back up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and we would kind of go down and explore. And there was one room, there was one room in this building, dude, that the whole floor of the, of the, it was a bathroom. The whole floor of the bathroom was full of pigeon bones and the pigeons would fly into this room and then they would never be able to leave. There was like a broken window uh, and they would fly in and they were just dead. And there was like, you know, like six inches of pigeon bones inside yeah. this, you know, this room. Yeah. Um, I don't know what attracted them to that room, but they, but they never would leave. Um, and, you know, like in the basement, uh, we would go down and explore in the basement and there was a room in the basement that you would get this really weird feeling in this room. And it was kind of like a really, really old office and there was a foot locker and inside the foot locker was somebody's street clothes, um, like a pair of dress shoes and like a, a dress shirt and pants. Um, like they went to work and then they just never left. Mm. And as soon as you would walk through this doorway, the basement would be super like damp, and, and humid and you would walk into this one room dude and it was always like really cold and and like really um like sterile kind of feeling and you know and we'd always say oh dude that dude like went to work and never went home yeah yeah you know um so yeah there's always weird stuff I, again that kind of that kind of happened to me over the years i mean i think the weirdest was kind of the out-of-body experience but but with the ghost stuff um, you know, everybody that was in the building was all friends of ours that was in the building. And they would always say like, you know, like weird, weird things, you know, would happen or you would hear like all kinds of weird stuff that happened as far as like, like people walking that were in places that had no, nobody in there. Or they were locked with, you know, yeah. behind doors that nobody would be there or people yelling and there's nobody in the building. It would be like me and him in the whole building and nobody else there except for our buddy Jay that we grew up with. And there would be people like yelling and screaming, but there was nobody there because like you, you needed a key to get into the place. And only people that had spaces had keys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's wild. I wonder, you know, a lot of these old mill buildings or these old factories in new England, um, you know, when we were kids, there was they were they were still there, and now yeah, yeah, yeah. there doesn't seem to be as many of them around in that state. Now they're been they're either knocked down um, and stuff rebuilt on that land, or they're converted into like condos or apartments or something. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just yeah, wonder, it's like you know, in these places that are now apartments and stuff, I wonder if that weird shit's still happening, right? You know. I I mean, you, you know, you would imagine this is still just a factor, kind of a factory building with, yeah. with, with, um, like workspaces in it. Yeah. I don't know if it'll ever be something, but else, yeah. yeah, you have to want, I mean, you know, it, 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 it makes complete sense. It's like, dude, if these people like never went home, they're still there. They, you know, they necessarily maybe can't get to where they need to get. They're just stuck in this, you know, vibration or this peer, you know, this, this, plane where they they you know they can never get out of it yeah yeah it's wild you know, or, or leave so you know i mean that's that's a lot of the you know the lot is and, and and there's always been weird stuff that's happened to me and i just kind of discredit it you know yeah. where where it's just like 
little stuff like, Oh, that was weird. Or, you know, that's weird. Not anything that you would really like be able to point your finger at or even remember, but there's, you know, it's always there. I feel like I've had, I've been lucky enough to have a lot of experiences with kind of this stuff where people don't. And again, like I've always like taken it with a grain of salt to be like, did that shit really happen? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, people are going to listen to this podcast and be like, that dude's fucking crazy. <laughs> nah, yeah. No, no, no. You know, cause it's, you know, I've had a lot of people on talk about different experiences and, and some are similar, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, I think it's interesting because the, the, the more people I talk to and you hear about their experiences, there's a lot of overlap and, um, you know, through, you know, and, and, um, so it makes you just wonder, you know, like, I know we're talking yeah, about I, a lot of different things here, but like, you know, what is out there? Like, um, and just, you know, in multiple ways, like, you know what I mean? Like whether it's like, you know, like you said, you, you had out of body experiences or experienced things with like a ghost or an entity or, or just the, you know, things like that. Like, like what is going on out there? You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's, it's wild because when you hear the same thing and these people that, that don't know each other and from different parts of the country or the different parts of the world, um, uh, you know, are saying very similar things. It's, it's, you know, it's hard to discount, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, is it, you know, is it something that like is inbred in us for thousands of years? I mean, you know, I've done like a lot of research on like, you know, I was intrigued by, I've always been intrigued by like, like ancient civilizations and stuff like that, you know, like sure. kind of on my own, just like, you know, and like, Sumerians and you know there's all these like weird texts you know that that you know like the book of Enoch and and stuff like that where you're just like you know like the emerald tablets of Toth of yeah Toth, it's like dude, I can't like, I can't ever say that you know, name. Thoth, like, Toth or whatever <laughs> you know I'm not I'm not saying like these I'm not saying like these people are you know like not smart enough back then to, to be able to make something up. But it's like, you know, a lot of the stuff, it's like, even with the stuff that, you know, with me, it's like, why would I like, why I'm not like, I especially didn't, back I, like, then. Cause it's not like now, right? Like th- this is, I just want to compound on, on your yeah, point. Yeah. Like you had to go through a lot of fucking work back then to document something. So why would you document some bullshit, right? Like, whereas now you can just type an email or write a little letter or write a little note or whatever. But, like, these guys right, had right. to, like, you had to spend days or weeks or months, like, inscribing something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like so you're not going like, to do it lightly, I don't think. Or I would, I would, I would, I would assume you're not going to do it lightly, you know? No, and pe- you know, unless it was just some like, jackasses that were like, "Hey, this some, some dudes are going to find this ten thousand years from now or five thousand no, years and, from now and, and make a religion no, out of it." Yeah, you know, and, and <laughs> I, I and I agree with you a hundred percent. Why would they do it if, if, for example, yes, I understand there's fables, but you know, like to to me, I feel like a lot of this stuff is begins as a true story. Yeah. And then, you know, it gets blown out of proportion or taken out of context because it's like, you know, like as it travels down the line, people get the story mixed up. Or yeah, but, they add, but again, add a little bit to it, make it more interesting or whatever. Or there's yeah, an agenda like, to make it go a certain way or Yeah. All the yeah, human exactly. shit, all the human shit of of, of uh, right. embellishment for whatever reason. But like the book of Enoch, I mean, you know, like that for example, is, you know, you're talking about a civilization that's like 12,000 years old, yeah. right? And it's like, this dude goes into depth about these angels that came and t- took them and, and what they taught him and what their particular roles were as far as teaching him language and math mathematics and and you know all these different things like how to farm and all this different stuff and it's like why yeah like wouldn't the dude just be like yeah this is you know like i learned this from my dad or whatever the case may be like why would you go into like some crazy embellishment of like 
why this, you know, why this would be, yeah. it, you know, to, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't really make much sense as to why. Sure. And it's, and it's you like, know? and to go even further back with the Sumerians and the cuneiform uh, tablets talking about Anunnaki and whatnot and the same, yeah, same yeah, type yeah. of things like where these guys, these things came down and showed us this or did this, or were involved in these wars. Like, like, People weren't writing the theme of Star Wars on, like you know, a movie script, like no, you know, no, in, no. in ancient Sumeria, right? Like they were, they were, they were documenting things that were important enough to document to go through all that trouble of documenting it. Yeah, on only a stone. certain amount of people wrote for one, right? And then yeah, two, yeah, yeah. It, on it, stone tablets that yeah. they knew would be like, oh, dude, well, if we wrote, write this in in the sand, dude, it's going to get blown away. Yeah, like yeah. you write it, uh, you know, or clay tablets that were like you know, that they knew would last for long periods of time. Just taking everything away from that, you know, with the Anunnaki and all that stuff, taking everything away from it, okay? Why in the world for 10,000 years have we been, as human beings, been so enamored by gold yeah like this is what i think of why you can't eat gold so ancient people couldn't eat it they can't make tools out of it it's a soft metal that doesn't do anything yeah it conducts electricity but you're talking at a time maybe there was electric electric batteries maybe there wasn't but you could also use you know brass or copper for that as well so why are we so fixated on gold yeah if you take everything away from strip everything away from this and you just say Anunnaki came here for gold they 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 made human beings to work f- for them yeah. semi intelligent beings to work for them right to mine this the you know this ore this yeah. gold what like why 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 do why why do ancient people why do Aztecs give a fuck about gold, dude? Gold didn't do anything for them. No. Did um have you do you do you have any physical gold like coins or anything? I do. Yeah. Yeah, I have physical it's it's wild, right? Like when you hold it. Like I'm not one for like gold jewelry or anything, but like I have yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a few like gold coins and silver and stuff. And it's like you just want to touch it. I gotta yeah, keep yeah, yeah. I keep it in the bags and stuff because you know I don't want to get like hand yeah, oil you're or like anything. Yeah, enamored or, by it. But you right? want, yeah, you need to touch it and feel it, and you're like, Neh. like it's like a very gold fever is real. Anyone yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone that has gold like will, will, will can, can attest to that. Whether it's on on your neck or like in your hand as a coin, but especially when it's like a coin. I don't know why. Like when it's like a like yeah, a I mean, it's coin just a or a phys- bullion or something. You know, it's very yeah, yeah. Real. It's like a physical or even like you know, even if you have like a like a a nugget of gold. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or, 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 or like, and it's like, you feel the weight of it and you have this thing, but, but in all reality, what the fuck, like gold doesn't do shit until no. recent years of them using it in, you know, in, in technology, in yeah. technology, it doesn't really do anything for it. You know, it didn't do anything. Yeah. It was a currency and whatnot, but in, yeah, in it reality, a, a decorative, uh, you know, type of thing for, you know, yeah. Jewelry. But why do we cons- why do we hold it in such high regards? Yeah. Why does somebody that have gold is 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 a is a, a king compared to a petty person? Like, where does that come from? Because silver is awesome and yeah. platinum is awesome, and you know all these other metals that are are precious metals. What like why gold? Why yeah. is gold still more expensive than platinum and silver? Yeah. Like what? You know, like the only reason why gold is more expensive is because people want gold. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I've always thought about that where it's like, why do we have this? Why are we fixated on gold? And it makes sense that if we were programmed at some time to mine gold for another civilization or another race, that we would be enamored by it because that's what they programmed us to do. Yeah. They're like, dude, you have to dig this stuff because this stuff is important. You're like, oh, this is important. I have to do it. Okay. Yeah. This this is is good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's wild, man. I wish, like, if you if you had a time machine, like, wh- where would you go? Like, you know what I mean? Would you go to the future? Would you go to the past? Like, where? Like, where? I would. I, I would go to the past. I don't. 
you know yeah i, I like because i want to i want to under like i would want to understand all this stuff that's un, that's not explained definitely yeah. i would want to go back to like sumerian uh i would want to go back to you know egypt egypt yeah. um that whole that whole you know uh that whole part of the world you know yeah like i think that's obviously where like you know, uh, civilization started, Sure. you know, I mean, everything kind of goes back to that, but, you know, also like kind of, uh, connect the dots of where, you know, where, where it's, you know, being like, there's many cultures that have, have done the same thing. Why did they do it? You know, I, 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 I fully believe that, ancients traveled more than we think they did yeah you know like back then and like you know people didn't spontaneously stop making pyramids all over the world like you know what i mean like yeah yeah, exactly mexico was very far from from uh you know from egypt and and uh right you know indonesia or wherever you know and why like why are you gonna do it yeah why 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 would you do it like what is the significance of a pyramid buildings aren't built in pyramids now so it's not like it's a the structure of it, you know, there's other structures that were built. So why a pyramid? Yeah. You know, was it, is it energy? Is it, you know, I mean, is it, is it, uh, is it some way to, to, uh, to communicate, is it communication, whatever the case may be, Yeah. you know, And, and I think a lot of this stuff is older than what, you know, people and scientists think. And the reason I think it is, is they, they, um, you know, they don't want to discredit what, you know, what they, what they think, yeah. you know, what scientists have thought and, and taught all this stuff. And oh, no, they yeah. go, Oh, we can't, you know, we can't be wrong. Yeah. You know, they, they don't want to have to rewrite it. Yeah. Which is weird yeah. because that's the whole thing of science is like, you make scientific discoveries and you adjust what you know, and then you go from there. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot with that. Did you, I, I don't know if you, if you, um, it was pulled from YouTube right away, so uh, it, it's not on there. But if you hear the the last episode, if not, I can send it to you with this guy Todd Cave. We got into a lot of this stuff, so I think you'd be they into do. that one. Yeah, like he he went he went in like I I probably said ten words the whole episode, man. He was just going like and he uh, he goes yeah. In I didn't I didn't. You'll have to you'll have to definitely send yeah. It I'll send it to you. He goes in hard on that stuff, but um. I mean, I you know I I think I think a lot of that. I think a lot of it is 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 real you know i mean i i don't think we're necessarily alone again like i said at the beginning of the podcast like what's your what's your feelings on uh, this disclosure stuff going on or like the slow uh, the disclosure like uh with because you know when you say we're not alone um bringing up the alien stuff like are you do you feel like this disclosure stuff is 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 real or do you feel it's like a psyop no, I mean, I, I believe to some degree, I mean, I believe that a lot of it is real because again, I don't think that, you know, to say that we're alone is awfully selfish of human beings. Sure. You know, yeah, I, I mean, arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's very arrogant and it's, and it's, it's super selfish to think that that's the case, you know? So I feel like, um, I feel I feel a lot of it uh, is unexplainable, and I think people in power don't like to not have control and be be not be able to explain stuff. Yeah, you know, regardless of of what what you know the, the truth of the matter is, you know, it's like. Um, and even going back to the Sumerian thing where you see some of these texts and it's like, you know, I don't mean to keep going back to that, but it's like, they, you know, I watched, I watched something where they were saying that these scientists took like this map of the universe of, of, I mean, the map of our solar system. Right. Yeah. And they had a map of the solar system. Now all, all the, planets they go into depth as, as to what the planets look like oh right? yeah 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 i've seen that features yeah. of the planet yeah so then they they look at it they say there's obviously 10 planets you know 
Scientists have recently found that they think that there's another planet because because uh, uh, Uranus is is it Uranus or or Pluto? One of the two is like super gas. They thought it was all ice, but it's gas. So they're saying that there has to be another planet that circles around that to keep that in in orbit. Yeah. So, but these scientists took the map that they had and they uh, like knowing time, you know, and like, like on the computer and being able to like manipulate time, they took and programmed this map into it. And then they rewound it to 10 or 12,000 years of like Sumerians and the planets are all in the order that they were in 10,000 years ago. Yeah. But, but telescopes have not, Telescopes are what a thousand years old, maybe twelve hundred years old. So it's like, how do you explain, how, dude? There's no possible way that some dude just said, "I'm going to make a map of what I think is fucking real." Yeah. No, like, there's, there's, there's so much weird stuff, man. And then even if you get into like, um, this is like a step removed from what you're talking about. Like you see all these like um, old. Uh, you know, not hieroglyphs, but like old, uh, you know, carvings and stuff. And they have all these entities and they all have a watch on and they're holding a bag and it's all the same one. And it's like, what, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. going on? What was all that? You know what I mean? Like it, there's a lot, yeah, of, I mean, there's a lot of weird the, stuff that is like cross cultures, like that in time frames that is, yeah, out there. And, you know, and people always, you know, and, and, and people or scientists will say, well, you know, like, you know, that's a, that's a, uh, you know, that's a, ter- interpretation of blah 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 but like when you think about these people if they saw something you know like aztecs right their art was aztec art okay like let's let's bring it into modern modern day right graffiti is all different but graffiti is the same right graffiti is dudes spray painting on a wall or women people spray painting on a wall it's letters of their name okay it might differ somewhat but it's it it's it is the same thing so it's like aztecs are going to do artwork that is aztec art they're not going to make something that looks like something like we'll say a rocket ship because they can only interpret their artwork what is is as their artwork yeah what's what what they're seeing in life yeah yeah so like their interpretation through art is whatever you see yeah. Just like the Native Americans, like painting in like the caves and stuff. You can kind of tell what the stuff is, but like it's their interpretation of it. Sure. So it's like, how do you explain a lot of this stuff? You know, how do you explain some dude sitting in some chamber and then he's got like this thing that looks like oxygen, yeah, you yeah. know, looks coming like into his nose that astronaut helmet and this and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that the rocket, the, 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 the controls. And the yeah, like yeah. rocket, and they, they show the exhaust right. and stuff like, but no other, no other art that they have like models the same thing. Yeah. I mean, the art style is the same, but not, you know, it's not like you see it in every single thing where you see animals, you know, like animals are always like a, a constant thing, obviously in ancient times you know you always see animals it's like even in egypt egyptian stuff it's always the same gods the same thing but then you have this one thing that's just this weird thing and they're like no dude that's not that yeah yeah. we interpreted it as this and you're like but there's nothing else that that remotely looks like that yeah Uh, in their artwork you know although the style is the same it just doesn't make any sense yeah and it's like you know, so, to even bring it forward in on a kind of different note, but still there's so many paintings from like Renaissance area or like, you know, yeah. medieval times that have like UFOs in the painting. Like what the fuck was yeah, that? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, exactly. like, like not even know, like, like, like blatant, like flying saucer looking motherfuckers. Like, you know what I mean? Right. It's like crazy. Right. They, they don't, they don't even know. It, 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 it's like, what there's, why would they be in the picture? Yeah. There's nothing that floated in the air back then. It's not like there was like Zeppelins yeah, yeah, and they yeah. were like, Oh, a Zeppelin was flying by. They're just like, and no, if, it, and if like, they painted a Zeppelin, you would see it as a Zeppelin. You would know, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And these paintings are like paintings that are 
legitimate things that are like an interp it's not like a loose interpretation yeah i mean i get some of them have gods and stuff like that but sure, a lot yeah. of like the renaissance i'm just talking about when it's like a painting of a woman and then you just see a flying saucer in the corner yeah yeah it's, it's like, like this, <laughs> this like victorian like woman yeah yeah and then all of a sudden in the sky there's like a, a something floating in the sky you're yeah. like oh dude that's there's that's not a coincidence yeah, yeah, like yeah that's why you know yeah. that lady has nothing to do with you yeah, know yeah that that interpretation is like an interpretation of what the artist saw probably at that time. And it was, it was striking like, oh, enough to, to, to document it forever in the painting, you know, like, yeah, 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 exactly. So, I mean, I, I, I believe in a lot of that stuff. I mean, yeah. I'm, I, you know, like I'm not a conspiracy, like conspiracy theory kind of dude. I'm more or less like, you know, logical about stuff. Yeah. But again, like with, with, you know, I think, I think, they never release this stuff because you know of all the hype and people would get fucking you know crazy and 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 lose their minds like yeah. you know like um like war of the worlds type shit yeah 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 you know? no it's wild it, it, it here's a question i have for you because i think it would be a good one for you to, to throw at you uh i'm interested to hear what you would say uh because it, it's kind of like the time travel question if if you could get into the vatican archives and they said all right you can look up and find the answer to one thing. What would that one thing be? Yeah, what what would be the main thing you'd be like? All right, let me go see. Because you know they got every they got all kinds of shit there. Uh, probably the one thing that I think I would look up would be. Oh man, that's a tough question. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. I think. It doesn't the, have to be the final answer, but what would be one of the No, things? no, no. The, yeah. the one thing I think that I would look up would probably be the history of speech. Would be the, which is, seems boring or language, no. but it would be the history of language because there's no history of language. And how did human beings learn to... They say we went from grunts to being able to... to communicate with one another it's not possible yeah. like it, it's so when you look at it's as easy as this when you look at asian languages and writing there's no scientists say there's no direct link to latin or to any other languages yeah. It's a language that's separate from its from from every. There's not one letter. There's not one sure. sound that that can cross over to the to it being um, a link between the two. Yeah. So where did it come from? Yeah, and, and and it was it had to have been taught. Yeah, and then it's us. like, and if 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 and if that's that one, where did these other ones? Did did language just spontaneously? occur on different continents at different times and, and, it, and evolve, you know? Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not possible like yeah. to, to me. So, so that being said leads into where, where did it come from? Yeah. You know, like in, 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 in the bigger picture. So I, I think if, if I was to ask that question, then that question would lead to what was the extraterrestrials that brought the language? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like it, it would kind of be like a two part question. Yeah. To be like, oh, dude, by me asking this question, I know what I'm going to find out. Instead of being like, hey, is there aliens? Is there is there extraterrestrials? Yeah. yeah. It would be like a kind of a a, a answer, you know, two yeah, part yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you a, you, to you a found question. a way to get a two for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a two for out of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Cool. I mean, here's the thing. We could talk about this stuff all night. I know. We could talk about this all night. <laughs> um, and like the, la that, like the last time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I disclosed enough of um, <laughs> of my personal shit sure. that people are going to... I'm going to be hearing about this for probably the next three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but again, it's all stuff that I, that I can't prove, you know, and, and, and again, you know, I mean, if anything, I'm obviously not the only one, like you said, you know, yeah. there's a lot of, there's a lot of links between what, you know, 
people that I've talked to kind of in, in have, have, have not, you know, a lot of people say like, you know, you, you can con you know, you're able to contact, you know, through meditation and long meditation, you're able to contact, you know, different frequencies and other beings through, through, through that. And I haven't explored that yet. I just can't get myself to, 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 uh, do much of, of, uh, much meditating, but in the future I would, you know, I'd like to, but, but again, I also don't, I can't say that it, that it did or it didn't happen. Yeah. So I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to say any of this stuff it is, is real. It's a perception and an experience that I had. I mean, if, if this helps somebody else with, with an experience, then I'm, you know, I mean, I'm glad to, to have done it you know and 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 no matter what it just it's it it, i I always go back to life is more interesting when you look at weird stuff like that's happened to people right yeah yeah, yeah. there's more out there and and you don't want to lose it in the mundane day-to-day or all like all you know obviously we're a couple days after the election that's all people have been talking about all week yeah yeah yeah, you know what i mean it's like all right cool like all right it's over like you know what i mean there's other shit going on you know what I mean? yeah there is other stuff and (laughs) and there's deeper stuff i think you know again i think people just rely on the face value of 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 things and don't really you know yeah put a lot of stuff out of their mind i mean I'm glad that I could come on the podcast and, and, and you know, talk yeah. about these experiences regardless sure. of, of, of whether, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, um, and it's just the world, yeah, the I mean, world's more interesting than what you see on CNN or Fox or MSNBC dude, or, dude, you know, or CBS a, or ABC. There's a whole, there's a whole universe out there, dude. And when I, when I, I I'll, I'll say this, uh, on this is my, on my final note is what I'm going to say is this. Always remember, dude, that the universe does not give a fuck about you. Yep. There is every there's all kinds of stuff happening that you need to be in tune with. And don't think that anything that the universe, the universe is happening. The universe is huge. We're minuscule in this big thing that's happening that even even when you zoom out from the country, from the earth, like yeah, we're things we're happening and we're here, but like, you got to keep in mind, like to have an open mind to anything that's going on just because we're, dude, we're floating on a rock through, through darkness, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, on that note, I think he, uh, he, uh, I don't know what, what just happened there, but, um, yeah. So, you know, keep it locked. Stay weird. All right. Yeah, we lost, we lost, we lost them. But uh, but shout out to uh, Harley for coming on. And um, yeah, if you have some experiences that are weird, um, paranormal stuff, and you want to share it on the show, always uh, reach out Big Truth Podcast at gmail dot com or uh, DM me on Instagram or any of that stuff. Big Truth, um, and uh, we will we will uh, we will get you going. And this is Harley calling me, so I'm going to log out right here.